Plant Queens, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sab if we've never met before and this is my channel where I talk about my house plants mostly in passive hydroponics. So today I am finally going to be showing you my house plant tour. I know I've been putting this, this off for so many days. I was actually supposed to record yesterday or the day before but the weather and the lighting never seems to be right. So today I just figured I'll do it anyway. <laughs> And that's also me saying I apologize if the lighting is off. Without any further ado, let's just get right into it. So we'll start with this general area where I keep my plants. There's sleepy. Say hi, baby. Uh, just pretty much in the bedroom, which is where the big window is. Let's start over here on the top shelf. Uh, this is my <laughs> reject shelf, which I'm sure we all have. This is where I put the plants I don't really want to see on a daily basis and kind of the recovering plants, stuff like that. Um, this is just a LED bulb, what you see here. And let's start here. This is a dumb cane, a Diefenbachia reflector. I got this, actually it had three leaves, but it wasn't doing so well. The edges were yellowing kind of like you see here. And it turned out that it didn't have any roots. Um, I said that in a fall video, which I'll link up in the cards here. But yeah, he's just here, kind of recovering in Lekka, rehabbing, not sure how he's doing. That's the Diffenbach here, reflector. Really gorgeous plant, though. Here we have my Aglaonema rotundum. Honestly, the only Aglaonema I'm a fan of, because it looks a lot like the Calathea pinstripe. Back there, we have a very wrinkly snake plant, the whale fin snake plant. I did um, water that recently. I'm sorry if you can hear that noise. I'll just close the window real quick and get back. Okay, that should be better. Back there is a variegated ZZ that's not so variegated anymore because I keep it in this dark corner. And here is a heartleaf philodendron, a philodendron heteracium, just kind of sitting here. This is an Alocasia pseudocenderiana. I'm not sure what I want to do with this yet. That looks like it might have root rot. It starts doing this if it has root rot, so I'll have to check on that. And this is a plant I have in soil because I recently just got it from a trade. It's just a golden pothos. I will probably convert it into like a this week. Oh, you can hear my cats fighting. There they are. Now onto the second shelf. Back here, I'm sorry about these wires. I'm still figuring out what to do about them. So back here, tucked at the very corner, is this Kindapsis. Um, Treyubi, dark form, I think. This is a sad story. This actually looked a lot better before. I tried to post a photo up on the screen. And then I left it out to dry. Uh, I think I was trying to take a cutting of it and my cats got to it. So that's what he looks like now. Over here is a Syngonium Nernlima, I think. Um, this is a really popular Syngonium right now, but I'm honestly really pissed with mine because it's always getting mealybugs. I just treated it last night and you can see it has freaking mealybugs again. <laughs> so I might just uproot the entire thing and boil the leka and dunk it in alcohol. I don't know. I'm just so sick of it to be honest. Here is my orchid that I got in the haul. I forgot the name of, I'll put it up on the screen. And then here we have my IKEA soccer greenhouse. I'll just take you through the plants inside individually. You can see my cats still fighting <laughs> on the screen. All right, how do we do this? I think I'll just take it from out here. On the back there is a Hoya obovara variegata. It's finally putting out some new growth ever since I put it in this greenhouse. And hiding back there is a Piper ornatum. I'm not sure if it's an ornatum or a crocatum, but whatever it is, it's really cute. I really love how intricate the foliage is. 
here we have my Hoya Kodara Sumatra, which is putting out some adorable new growth. <laughs> Look how fuzzy that is. Here is my Florida Beauty. I gotta know you can't see like that. But there she is. Let me try to open this up for you so you can get a better view. There is the variegated leaf, but this is the newest leaf and I know that you don't really see the variegation um, early on, but I, I seriously think this is reverting. I might have to chop it up. Next to it is a seedling of Phenotherium vitirefolium. I will put up a photo of what the mature one is supposed to look like. But yeah, don't mind the yellowing leaves. Those are just the old leaves dying. They are getting bigger and bigger. Like you can see the newest one is pretty large. So I'm excited for that to grow. Behind it is this variegated spathophyllum. It's called the Sensation. And it's just a cute peace lily. Still kind of droopy because I did just convert it recently. Um, back there, no, let's start here. Here is a Hoya Bertonie. Uh, it's interesting because I put it in here because it kept uh, kind of dropping its leaves every time it would put out a new one. So you can see the first one and the second one. And then finally, when I put it in here, it's keeping its new leaves, which I'm very happy about. There's also new growth over there. Next to it is one of my wishlist plants. If you watched my wishlist video, I will put a, I'll put it up in the cards for you. This is an Alocasia Silver Dragon. It's very small, but I'm just so in love with it. It's so beautiful. And I think it's doing well in there. I just converted it to Leca as well. Back there is my Philodendron Glorious. So the cross between the Melanochrysum and the Gloriosum. And it, it did not do anything for about four months. But now, it is finally putting out that gorgeous new leaf, or at least I hope it will be. Because I was about to give this plant away, just because of how slow it was. So moving on next to it, here is a Philodendron Birkin. So you can see there's some spider mite damage on it from when I left for the province. And I came back and all my plants were infested, but I've treated them so the new growth should not have any damage anymore, hopefully. In front of that is my Raphidophora tetrasperma, just a really pretty reliable plant. This is the newest leaf, it's really cute. Next to that is my Anthurium clarinervium, which put out this, let me see if I can show you without it being too bright inflorescence and it's got pollen so i pollinated oh there's an ant i'm not sure if you can see that there's an ant on there i pollinated it with pollen i collected from the same plant a few months ago so i'll update you guys if that works here is its newest leaf just a really gorgeous anthurium and it's got a new leaf coming in as well next to it is my mandula pothos which has become so lush. I just, I got this as a few cuttings a few months ago and now it's kind of trailing off of the pot. This is definitely one of my favorite uh, pothos. Of course, the first one being the Marble Queen. Behind her is my Syngonium Three Kings. Very pretty plant, cute variegation. I'm not sure why <laughs> new leaves are coming out kind of wonky. I'm not sure if this is just part of the growth pattern of the plant, but nonetheless, they're still very beautiful and it's it grows pretty steadily. And finally, this is my Peperomia Frost. Very nice Peperomia. It's just really happy in Lekka. Look at how much new growth there is and even an inflorescence down there. And then we move on to my bottom shelf. So behind here is an Aglonema Custatum, I think. I'll put the right name up on the screen. Not really doing anything. Probably gonna give this one away because it does not spark joy anymore. 
Here is my Raven ZZ. I used to have a really big one, but I kind of got sick of it and traded most of it and just kept this tiny one for myself. So it's just rooting in Lekka again. Here is uh, some sort of Calathea. I think it's a Calathea lucinora or something like that. I really want the variegated version of this plant. I've seen it in videos like um, Wild Ferns videos and it's just so gorgeous. But I don't think it's available in this country. Back here is a uh, Pilea cadere, just rooting in water. I am struggling a bit with this one because the leaves kind of crisp up like you see here. And I'm not sure why. I think it might need a higher humidity environment. Um, so I might just place it in the terrarium. Here is a gorgeous begonia de lucerna, Carolina de lucerna, I think. And she's just such a fast and reliable grower and look at how shiny those leaves are. This is the newest leaf. It's <laughs> just red and beautiful. In front of it is this Hoya Mer Meridithii, I think. I think so, yeah. This fuzzy Hoya. Um, which I got in the tree. This is not the full plant. I just took a cutting. You will see the full plant later Back here is my black velvet alocasia Which was infested with spider mites. So I just cut it back completely and this is the newest leaf And there's another one coming in and they're not <laughs> full of spider mites anymore So I recommend doing that to your alocasias if you know, they're really badly infested it might not be worth treating the current leaves and it's much easier to just cut it back completely. In front of it is this beautiful Syngonium erythrophyllum. So you can see how dark that foliage is. I grew this from one small cutting and I'm not sure I can show you. Let me try moving it. I'm not sure you can see how red that back is on this plant. So yeah, I really love it for that. I love dark full hitch. Next to it is a uh, Begonia Martin's Mystery. I got it as a cutting and it's putting out this cute fuzzy new leaf. I am getting into begonias guys. I'm having a begonia moment and <laughs> yeah you can expect to see more begonias on my channel this year. Back here is my magnificent Alocasia Cupria. Check that out. I got this for free, believe it or not, because I won it in a giveaway. And I didn't expect to like it so much. I was actually considering giving it away or selling it, but wow, just look at how that grow light hits it. I, I'm in love with this plant. I can't believe I ever thought to try and sell it. I'm trying to make it face this way. That's why I'm uh, kind of facing it towards the wall so it grows away from it. Here is uh, Peperomia <laughs> something. I've forgotten what it's called. I will put the name up on the screen, but it's so cute. I divided it into two parts and this one is already growing a bunch of new leaves. And so is this. Look at how adorable these Tahoe-like leaves are. Back there is my Anthurium polystichum, polystictum, something like that. And it's got some new growth growing on. You can see back there. And it's just a pretty plant. This one kind of lost all of it, like two of its leaves. I'm not sure why, but that's the main um, leaf that it came with. So I'm not too concerned. It has new growth on the back anyway. And in front of it is my Hoya Crimson Princess, which I've mentioned is really difficult to get in this country. So I'm very happy to have it. And this is a new leaf, so is that one, so it seems pretty happy. Back here is my Hoya Cressy Petulata, which is just a gorgeous Hoya. Look at those veins. It's not the happiest right now because some of the leaves are yellowing and I'm not sure why. But hopefully it'll be better. I moved it under these grow lights so it could get more, um, <laughs> could get more light. Uh, because it was by the window, but as I mentioned, it's been really gloomy lately, so that might be why. So I realized that this is a pretty long video, so I'll be cutting it into two parts, and I'll be ending the tour here for this week, and next week I'll upload the other half of the tour. I hope you're enjoying it so far. 
don't forget to hit like and subscribe because it really does help me out and i'll see you next week bye